What's going on, Copper Fam? As I sit here quite comfortably in front of me, looking at cheap Jaffa cakes, love the budget here. Um, <laughs> I have a wonderful man to my left, a man I, expect, I respect very highly, Mr. Robbie from Arsenal Fan TV. How it's are you, bro? Good to be here, man. Good to be here. It is good for you to be here, especially off the back of so many things that's happening in and around Arsenal. Mm. Um, it'd be interesting to get your perspective, and there's a lot of, as, as you expect, a lot of questions mm -hmm. for you. And uh, the first one here from Mike, who says, what actually got you into football? Into football? Yeah. You know what, I just come from a family that we love sports. Mm -hmm. you know, um, let's play football, rugby, cricket, everything. I was, was, when I was growing oh, up. Oh, you was a kid I hated. Was you good at all of the sports? <laughs> I hated I was, them, You know what, I was good at, I was good at um, very good at rugby, very good at cricket. Mm. Not great at football, to be honest. Seriously? Just football's my favourite sport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad loves sports, and we just like you know we'd be watching football on TV and discussing it, and you know and just from that background, man, it's just it's mad that like for example that was just something you done, mm. and all of a sudden that's now become a career. Do you ever think back yeah. to yourself like right? I never even foresaw that be in the future. No, I didn't, because um, I was always when I was young, I was always into music as well. Yeah, come right. on, I've seen the things with me! <laughs> my yard man, you know. Yeah, so like music was my music was like my thing and yeah. and you know, then when the weekends would come as well, like I like my football, I like to go and watch football as well. I'll say at them times music was first and my first thing. And then as time has gone now, this has taken over. It's been Oh, this has taken over. And what yeah. he means by this is Arsenal Fan TV. Mr. Khan himself, Amir Khan. It's not, it's a guy with a picture of Bamiya. <laughs> he goes, when did you start Arsenal Fan TV and how did it feel? What was the first video you uploaded? The actual first game we did is we played Tottenham. Um, that was that was our first video, it was Tottenham at Which the one? Emirates. At Emirates? Um, yeah, we beat um, 5-2, I think it was a, one of the 5-2 ones. The first one or the second one? The first one, I think, because this was in 2012. Oh my god, um, that game was incredible. Yeah, and game. so, you know, there was no whinging, moaning fans on that day. Everybody was really happy and... Uh, yeah, that was our first. That was our first video, very first video. Um, what was your first viral moment? Would you say first you've viral few, moment? You've had a few now. We've had a lot. Um, do you know? It was, then there was a really famous one where there was a fan called Chris Hudson. Um, it's Aston Villa, first game of the season. Three one, we lost. Yeah, oh! yeah, yeah. He had he had a big rant. I remember he like came up to us, we was uh, just getting our equipment out to start filming. Mm. And he came up and he started going in and really, and we was like, hey, hold on, let's, you know. Save he goes, this. He goes, oh, you won't put out what I've got to say. And we said, no, we're here to, you know, give fans their opinions. And then we filmed him and then that went absolutely viral. I woke up the next day, there was newspapers emailing me. That, uh, that's when I was like, hey, hold on, this, this one. Well, on to sign. What happened to yeah. where is he now? He'd never ever been a fan that features every week on the channel, but every now and again he comes on. He's like the governor, I love him. And he kind of comes on and gives his opinion and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Andrea says, question for Robbie. How do you deal with all the hate thrown at you because of Arsenal Fan <laughs> TV? And what is the motivation to keep going despite all the backlash? Do you know what, right? Hate goes with the territory. And mm. I'm sure you, unfortunately, unfortunately, I don't, you know, man, I, don't, I don't get it sometimes, um, but... Um, I'm sure you get similar stuff as well, but... Um, but I might be justified. I looked at some of my tweets. I said, <laughs> Jesus Christ, is there but, a God? First of all, the thing that trained me up for this was being in the music business. Yeah, 100%. Right? And I was in the music business. I was in the reggae music business. It's high hyper competitive and people either love you or they hate you and you got used to sometimes some hate coming your way. Mm. So you answer the stuff that you need to answer and other people who just come on. Because sometimes some people come on with hate. Mm. And it doesn't matter what response you give them, it doesn't matter how much you explain, they're gonna still hate. Me and you were talking the other day, mm. and I did say to you, it's so funny that I, like, I will say to Copper Knight people, oh my God, we're gonna do a video of Robbie. Everyone's on it. And I'm telling you the truth, I will say I'm gonna do a video of DT and Troops, no one gets it. Mm. And I feel like that's because you're such a positive individual within the channel, you've almost separated yourself from Arsenal Fan TV. So when I say to people, did you watch Arsenal Fan TV? The first thing that comes to mind is either Troops or DT. And they mm. associate them two characters with a, you know, eccentric behaviour and being rude. And, and I will only say that if we've lost. So mm. I imagine a lot of the backlash you get is off the back of two characters that are not even you. And if you take a look at the comments that Bellamy made the other day, mm. it's the reason why I said to you, I think personally, it's not, it's less to do with you. 
I'm more to do with them. And I'm not even saying that they're a problem. I feel like everyone's mm. entitled to have their opinion. So is it difficult for you to sometimes to defend the channel knowing you're not even defending the channel? You're having to stand up for yourself because of the way two individuals are portrayed and they're becoming a bigger portrayal than the channel, than not, the channel itself. Not really, because listen, it's all about, our platform is all about giving fans a chance to have their say. That's what we've built it on. That's right. Now. And if they're gonna, if we allow them to come on and have their say, and they're open and honest, and we want to be, that's what we want to be. You know, I'll back that to the. You know, I ain't selling nobody out. I'll back that. You know, what I mean, we have these guys on. They're fans. They're knowledgeable guys. They go to games they home do. and away. They do. You don't have to agree with them. No. When the, sometimes some of the things these guys say, I don't agree. Mm -hmm with what they're saying, but I do feel that as a fan, they're entitled to have their opinion. You know what I mean? It's our platform yeah. and that's what we allow. We allow, and I, I'm proud of our platform. You know what I mean? We, so before we be. came along, right? Did you ever see, uh, you know, fans like troops talking about football? No. Did you ever see a blind guy talking about football? Everybody goes to football. Everybody loves yeah. football. That's what we've shown. We've shown football fans. There's many different types. Mm -hmm. We had the Speaker of the House of Commons, John Burke. You know the guy goes, oh, that. He was on Arsenal Fan TV. You would never have recognised him. He had his scarf on. He was a passionate Arsenal fan. Real life. Talking just the same as me and you about Arsenal. I listened to Bellerin's comments the other day and mm. I had the pleasure of sitting down with Jack Wilshere. Um, and oh, Jackie, Jack. Jackie's an amazing human being. Mm. He said... He would, he would come on Arsenal Fan TV. He said it with a lot of oh. conviction as well. And that's an, an opposing opinion, so to speak, of Bellerin. Not to say that he didn't say he would come on Arsenal Fan TV, but his approach to it was quite negative. Mm. Jack was like, everyone's entitled to their opinion. Bellerin mm. was saying the same, but he just didn't agree with, with the yeah. things that he heard. Listen, look, Hector Bellerin plays for Arsenal, mm -hmm. right? Arsenal's my team. I want Arsenal to win every game, right? I don't agree with what Hector Bellerin said about Arsenal Fan TV, but that doesn't mean that I don't like him, that I'm, a, I'm against him. We've been doing this for five years, yeah? And if this thing had been all about money, I would have packed it up a long time, man. When I was doing this thing at first, all the money was coming out of my own pocket. Mm. I used to sometimes have to go to games and bring packed lunch. So, you know, it's things like that, when you hear that, about this money thing, you're like, oh, what's up? What's up with that? I'm asking you where you're going to be in the next five, ten years. You're telling me you're going on TV. I've already seen you in the Rolls Royce. Victor saying, Take Robbie, <laughs> what is your next purchase, the private jet or yacht? I'm like, Victor, oh I hear you because you, you know was what, really get out off, here get off this in the Rolls, Rolls Royce. Get off of it. I love sometimes looking in the comments and that Robbie's going to buy his, his private jet. Robbie, that's Robbie's football pitch. Robbie's gonna buy. I hope I could buy. I wish I could buy Arsenal. Maybe oh. that in the next ten years. Buy Arsenal, man. I would never want to buy that. Free tickets club. all round. Yeah, <laughs> That's the last thing I'd invest my money in. You wouldn't buy Arsenal? Arsenal. No. Oh, I'd never. Love to buy Arsenal, man. I think I love Arsenal from a distance, but the moment I have to invest in it, then I'm gonna be probably part. People, I reckon people will end up hating me because I make harsh decisions. There you'd would be, be you'd no. You'd be one of them chairman. There'd be that, no like, conversation about be, Drude coming no, you to my club. You, you could be manager. I walk into the change room and you, say, Yo, I know how you carry on, right? You what? be sacking everybody. Man. Everyone. I'm all sacking hot dog, man. Everything's gone. Gone. I'm bringing in the yardies. Like, Yo, I'm phoning my cousins in Jamaica. Boy, I may have a job for you, you know. Kitchen. Jerk chicken. Everything. I don't know what type of food they're going to eat, but they're injured every week. Go bring jerk, the hard food. Imagine jerk chicken up in the Diamond Club. What? <laughs> Them and I, There's a man up in the diamond club with a jerk pan. Of right? course. And, then like, and the players in the so change Chips room. So Chips walks in and he opens it up and a beer smoke. What? <laughs> Imagine that in the change room half time. Them players are running for 98 minutes. Listen, I if I had the money, right? Mm. Right, wow. Wouldn't that be... Buy Arsenal, yeah, man. Nah, fam. I'm buying Buy Arsenal, island. man. And, I've seen know? Roman Abramovich go from jet black hair to this white <laughs> thing and I'm thinking, right, and you're rich. I don't yeah, want but that he's stress. won a lot of things, hasn't he? You look, look at you know. and he's still stressed. I don't, I don't want that. I've got, I've but got you know kids. What? I, it's mad. I, I, I think like sometimes with some of those sort of guys, they, mm. they, it's for the status because. Oh, he cares. Look, look how rich he is and that. But did you know who he was before he came to Chelsea? No one knew who he was. Did but they? he cares, man. I, I don't, I don't look at it. I don't class him the same as like the Stan Kroenke or like the owners of Liverpool or Manchester United. Roman Abramovich has got a gold tooth. He puts his money <laughs> where his mouth is, and he's been doing it. Four years and, I know one joy, thing, and the joy on his face when they won the Champions League. Oh. That can't just be a man that just wants status. I know one thing if I bought the club, at least I'll be there every week. I'll be sat watching the games. <laughs> <laughs> if you think I can see Arsenal take 33 shots at Manchester United and score one goal, no. Nah. But look, staying with Arsenal and talking about money and mm. investment, Sanchez, is it Sanchez? He wants to know if you've got a blank check, 
Which three players would you sign for Arsenal? Realistic choices. Realistic, Realistic choices. Because we could just say Messi, say Neymar, Messi, Ronaldo, Neymar. Neymar. Which would be ma- if you had Ronaldo in the middle, Messi, you've won everything. You'll win Wimbledon, NASCAR, everything. Yeah. When you, if you actually look at the, 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 the if you look at the the following we have around the world, the ground we have, the name we have amongst people around the world, the the, the owners that we have, there is no reason, right? Apart from the fact that we don't do it, there's no reason that we shouldn't be able to go out there and bid for a player like Neymar when he's available. And Neymar, if we were bidding the same amount of money as PSG, would say, you know, I'm going to Arsenal, look at the history, it's London. There's no reason we've got the owners who could make that happen. That's true, Poet. Look at them. Look at the two guys. They're multi-billionaires. So Neymar up front with the Bamiyang through the middle. Well, starting to look good, man. Cut with a nice hole in it. Bring in Kante. You know, like, never right? going to happen. Boateng at the back. I'm starting to sound like Ty now. Of course, 100%. <laughs> if Arsenal ever sign Neymar. But, as I said, if you actually look at what we... Never. We, we, yeah, I know it's never, man, but let me dream, though, man. Boy, and I wake up, dog. Life yeah. hard. All right, Akers <laughs> is saying, what player, though, this summer would you like to see come into Arsenal, um, realistically? Like, what player do you think this summer we should, you know, identify and say a target if we only won? You said you would like to lead... Kante, say somebody like a Kante, man. Somebody... You think that's you realistic, know, you... though? Do you think that's realistic? Could Arsenal be, say if to Chelsea... If the money was right, why not? If the money was right. What's why, right? Chelsea been taking our players for... How many years? If the money was right, how much why do you, not? How much do you reckon Kante would cost in today's market? You go in and you say it's 60 million for Kante. Oh, never. Today? They got him for 35 million. You go in and say it's 60 million for Kante. I don't think he's going. Because I, I, I look around Europe and I'm trying to look at the, the best holding midfielders. Yeah. And to me, he's excellent. Mohamed wants to know, love do you think that Arsenal can compete with Spurs again? Oh, oh come my on. What do you mean? God. What do you mean compete Again? With do you know who why? Wrote, do you know why he says this? Do you know what? No, who said that? He's Muhammad said it. But do you know why Muhammad said it? What's up, BT Mo? have given us the privilege of watching YouTube highlights of Champions League, and I can't see Arsenal. <laughs> the YouTube highlight I saw of European football was in Sweden on a 3G pitch with Montreal scoring the opening goal. It's an L. It is an L. <laughs> it's an L. Tottenham. Are having their greatest ever period, but they still haven't won anything until they win something. They ain't won nothing, poet. Right? Do you know what? They, listen, put, they, they've got a very good team at the they moment. They win in the FA Cup. I put hundred pound yeah. on it. I, Who's got I'll, I'll have hundred pound with you, man. They won't win it. Hundred pound. Right you know here. what they remind me of? Right Did you, have you, have you you've been watching the um, Winter Olympics. No. What's the name of that lady? That what, that skier, Lisa Christie, or anything. Brilliant all year round, and then every time it comes to the big thing, she falls over. She's out. That remind. I was watching it the other day. Big man. Reminds me of Tottenham. All right, last one here. <laughs> super, super Frankie Lampard says, ask, hashtag ask Robbie, how come Henri is not treated as a traitor when he left for the same reason as Sesk, RVP, Nasri, Cole, and so on, dot, 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 winning trophies? That'd be crazy, man. He didn't, he didn't leave in the same... same but this guy's manner. a Chelsea fan, so... He gave his all for Arsenal, you know what I mean? Um... He was there for... He's a legend at the club. He oh, gave his all for Arsenal. And then he came back, remember? That and he game came back. Leeds and he scored that goal. So that again cemented him. He's, he's, uh, my, my, my only biggest regret at the moment with Henri, right, is that why have we got a guy like this? Thierry Henri. And I, and I speak as well for like a lot of the other legends of Arsenal. Mm. Why are they not more involved? I'm glad that Lehman is at the moment, but why are they not Henri more was. involved? At, he was. And then what did he do? He ran on Sky Sports Custom no, no, Field no, but, he, but he can't do that and no, then no, run in training like what I'm going for That's mad. He's doing his job. I'm glad Wenger done what he done. You can't no, have someone no, on TV no, just no. The man said I'll work for free. I'll work for free. I'm going to be on TV but I'll work part time for free. Big man, if I'm give earning two mil a year, I might work for free as well. Give him a role. He's guys a legend. Yeah, I'll club. give him a can cheese you, roll. Tell you... him bounce, guys. Your man can't be here cussing off on TV. You can't talk about Thierry like that, man. No, Thierry is my guy. But I'm being honest. From the from what Wenger done, Wenger said you nah. have to choose one. It's either I don't agree with your that. Arsenal or your Sky Sports. You can't be Sky Sports and Arsenal. He's doing his job. Look, we could go on forever here, and we could. But we have to end it. I always back Thierry on no, I back Thierry, but I just back what's right. I just know you couldn't be working for me and cussing me out there. We got, you've uh, got to choose one. He's not cussing you. Rob's absolute pleasure having you Best, here. Man, Thank man, you so man. much. Thanks for having me, man. Um, that was Robbie from Arsenal Fan TV. I've made a bet with him. 
The craziest thing about this I bet... Have my money ready, man. It's either going to end at the end of the season or very soon because if Tottenham go out next round, then he's got to come back <laughs> and comments below. Trust me, there's a big video on Arsenal Fan TV. We're making a big thing of this, man. I'm, I'm rolling up to pick up that money like... Like I won the lottery or something, man. Trust me. Mm -hmm. It's a Tottenham bet. Come Take on, care, everyone. Like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> also, Fan TV, fantastic channel. It's Copper 90, Lumos. Choose what kind of hair you want. Either dreads or camera. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>